Hi, today we would like to present you with our new solution, which is the tool for managing the um, bill of materials. It is still the alpha version, that is why it is not available for downloading online, but it will soon become so. Uh, we created this tool for the small and medium enterprises to enable them to calculate the cost and the necessary time for the creation of, uh, the, uh, of the final products. With this tool, you have the possibility to split your products into their components and to ma into materials and uh, to calculate the cost and the necessary time needed to create these products. We also uh, developed the fun function to uh, carry out the allocation of the fixed costs based on the process time as the allocation driver. As for the time being, the solution consists of four of three worksheets. That is the BOM, Bill of Materials, Fixed Costs, and the visual, Visualization, or maybe it will be Analysis, I don't know. The names of the worksheets will be probably changed. The primary table is the Bill of Materials table. This table represents the parent-child relationship for each relationship you define a number of uh, properties these properties are description process time amount and the acquisition cost so for example to to create the sub product one you need material one material two and material five material one requires 10 minutes of processing to then turn into sub product one material two requires also from one from 0 to 10 minutes of processing but goes in parallel with material 1 that that is why we put no number in here and after that material 5 requires like the finishing 5 minutes to process and we have our our piece of sub product 1 ready the amount of uh, material 1 2 and 5 to create the sub product 1 is 1 and the acquisition costs for those materials are 24 14 and 6 so basically we can calculate the process time for sub product 1 as 15 minutes the overall amount of the materials needed is three pieces and the acquisition cost or the production time for sub product 1 is 44 um, 44 units let's say material 1 can also participate in the production of uh, other sub products or products Sub-products can also participate in the creation of different uh, the different products and so on. So basically, this is the primary primary information table. There is also the table for the fixed costs. These costs are like energy, labor, administration, and other like rent or whatever else. In total, it gives us like three thousand and seven hundred uh, units. And uh, now we m move to the visualization uh, worksheet, which actually displays all the relevant information about our products. So here we see that uh, it it displays us the prod the all the materials, components, and products in a hierarchical way. So basically, you see that product one consists of all these materials and components. In particular, it consists of exactly of exactly these materials and components, which in turn consist of these materials. Uh, all the information under the product one is uh, product rel rel relative. That I, what I mean is that, for example, as we remember, the sub product one required 15 minutes for the production. However, here we see only we see 23 minutes. What does it mean? It means that the production of the product itself uh, took us 15 minutes, but the sub product one also required additional eight minutes of processing in order to become product one. And so 15 plus eight gives us 23. This is exa exactly the time needed to process the sub product one in order to, in order it to become product one. The same thing is true for the cost and the fixed cost uh, columns. Um, well, basically, 
I wanted also to show you the other way of displaying the same the same table as for the time being the user interface is not developed but the functionality is already ready as you see and uh, what basically we see here that the the same table can be can be displayed also in this way it shows us cl much clearer the hierarchy of the product one for example in in this case and also we will uh, provide the user interface to navigate through these this uh, hierarchy for example let's uh, see all the costs relevant to the sub product one and what basically what you what we have to do is just select only sub product one and so we see here that the sub product one required 15 minutes of processing of processing it cost us 26 uh, units and the total uh, fixed cost uh, costs allocated allocated for the sub product one uh, this uh, amount of money and well basically that's it uh, if you have any co comments ideas suggestions propositions just feel free to write us back and we will be happy to receive your feedbacks thank you very much for your attention